Are old user accounts from previous Joomla versions sleeper security risks for your site? In this video, I'll tell you how you can tell. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 266 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them to Joomla 4. So if you're looking to hire someone short term or long term, or even to get you out of a spot, just uh, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com and let's talk. Okay, let's turn our attention to the screen and we'll look at today's topic right away. Now, what do we see on the screen? This is a snapshot of a Joomla 4 install, a very plain one, but I've put in some users with some passwords that are encoded with MD5. Now, what does that mean? I don't fully understand, so instead of pretending and showing you that I don't understand, I'll just tell you I don't fully understand, but it has something to do with how passwords are encoded and protected. Now, this snapshot is one of the uh, tools in MySites.Guru, and uh, when we uh, take a snapshot of a site, it looks at a bunch of things and has a bunch of recommendations for the best practices. When I click on this green eyeball, it gets rid of everything that's good and gives me a list of things to uh, take care of. Uh, the one that we're looking at right now is don't use MD5 hash passwords. Maybe a sign you're hacked. Now there's a tool over here. We'll click on investigate and we can read very quickly that uh, mysites.guru has checked the user tables and have and the following users have MD5 hash passwords and we attempt to use online rainbow tables to guess the passwords. And so just like uh, mysites.guru could guess those passwords, uh, a hacker could as well. Mike's password is cowboy1956 and password1. It can be read just like that and that is not cool. So there's some ways that we can take care of that and fix that inside of Joomla 4. Now before we see that I just want to show you this is the site of a client that I was working on and they have a ton of users and look at some of the passwords that people are using. Batman6, Love Shopping, Roxy, Free Stuff, Shooter, Cowboy1956. So these aren't great passwords. It's not great that they're encoded with MD5, so we need to fix that. Now, back to our sample site. Let's click on Pat's username here, and we will go right into the Joomla site, just profile. Now, I'm already logged into this Joomla site, so that's why I went directly. Now, we have a couple options here to fix this uh, problem for Pat's account. First of all, since we know that Pat likes this password here, all right, password one, we could just go in and put his password in and save it. And then Joomla 4 would encode it with a better hash system. However, Pat's password does not meet the, uh, the minimum requirements. So what we could actually do next is this. We clear out that and we could go down to require password reset. And what would happen is the very next time that Pat goes to log into his site, he will be able to go in, but it's going to say right away, hey, you need to pick a new password. All right. Now, maybe Pat won't be happy with that. We'll complain to you. But Pat picked a bad password and you want your site to be secure. So you would just require the password reset and you would save. Now, I'm not going to do that because what happens if you have lots like that other site? Well, what you could do is you could go into the site. Let's click on Mike here. And uh, again, Mike's password, I tried it, that's not gonna work. Well, let's just close. Now we could go through and we could pick John, Mike, and Pat, and we could go up and then we could go to the batch, up in actions there, and we could say, yes, we need them all to require a password reset the next time they log in. The other thing that you could do is you could go back and use this tool and you could just write down the ID numbers that you need to reset because maybe you don't want to reset all the users on the site. So for instance, in this other site, here's a whole list of user numbers and uh, you could write those down and then go into the Joomla site and list sorting according to ID and you could just work your way down through the numbers and click and click and you could actually go in and you could again batch and force them to reset the next time they log in. 
Now, of course, the other thing that you could do, depending on how many people that you have to do this for, you could actually, uh, let's go back into Pat's. You could actually just go in and give Pat a new password, save it, and then send them a password saying, hey, Pat, I changed your password or call them. It really all depends on what's happening with your site and who your users are and how tech savvy they are. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.